Well, thank you guys for being a part of our room and sharing this experience with us. So my name is Tori Epi. Um, I'm a licensed realtor with Keller Williams. And um, I just want to say how happy and truly am to be here. I love the Buzz conferences. And I think it's really important as part of our networking and our sociability as realtors. Because oftentimes, we're always so focused at pouring into our clients. But I think it's also so important to pour back into ourselves. And events like these are really great for us to expand our minds, to network, expand our uh, collaboration, and just finding new tactics, just to even sitting in for Chris's speech for a few minutes. So much insight and new capabilities that you learn from listening to someone else with much more experience than you versus maybe sitting at home and not being as productive. So just a, a great tactic to, to always be um, accountable for yourself and expanding your experiences. So um, today I wanted to talk a little bit about how I got started in real estate. I'm not a connection or anything like that, um, but it's just, I think I've had a particularly peculiar start in the industry. Um, there was a lot of uncertainty for me in the beginning. So when I came into the industry, um, my previous career was in auto insurance claims, and I was in that for 10 years. And then um, while I was doing claims for other people's car accidents, I actually got into a car accident myself, and it left me with a concussion. And so I wasn't able to do the same type of work I was before. So I came to a point where I knew I needed to have a career change. And I took the stance that instead of doing um, what would have been maybe expected or a traditional, typical kind of career, I wanted to do something that I saw pleasure in. Um, being in real estate is something I've always admired. Anytime someone in the, in the family was looking for a house, I'd be the go-to saying, hey, did you see this one? Did you see this one? And being in real estate is such a people career, a people dynamic, and that's something that I'm truly passionate about. So I made the decision to quit my last job, handed in my two weeks notice, and then I actually had intentions at starting off as an ISA for a real estate company. And the plan was to be an ISA, do that full time while getting my real estate license. I would get my license, maybe go on with that team. Sounds great, right? Two days before I was gonna start that ISA position, the pandemic happened. So we had the complete lockdown. The company wasn't able to hire us. So technically I was laid off at that point before I even started the role. I had already handed in my notice at my last place, which my position was filled. So I was just caught in a really uncertain place. And so I made the decision that I wasn't gonna let all of this uncertainty kind of hold me down, but I was gonna find a way to persevere. So at the time, um, things weren't so great. I didn't have the money to pursue um, real estate that I wanted to, but things were able to line up for me. So even at the time, I was just ended up using my baby bonus. So at the time, I also had a two-year-old daughter. So new mom, newly married, in a new house, trying to do a new career, and just a lot of things going on at once. But I made the decision to myself that I would be consistent and keep on going with what I wanted to be able to accomplish. So in, in starting the real estate courses, um, I was able to pursue them because I wasn't working. I was able to go through the courses a lot faster than I did. And one of the things that I had started at that time was my YouTube channel. So before that, I didn't do any kind of video content or anything like that, but I just decided as I was going through my learning journey, I found that there's other people who had the same questions that I had. So I figured, why not find a way to share it? So I was sharing it in the different um, real estate Facebook groups, and some people would see it, and then I would see some people ask the same questions again, and I'm like, you know what, let me just put it in a video. And um, that's how my YouTube channel got started. So it was just with the premise of this is what I'm doing, this is how I learned, and I'm going to share my experience with everybody, and, and hopefully it will be able to help one person, one person or another as they're going through through their journey as well. 
And in starting off my career, I made it apparent that I wanted to do things differently, um, which I found to help that because I took that chance to do things differently, I was able to have a lot of struggles that other people didn't have, but I was also able to have a lot of successes that other people didn't have. And in my first year of doing real estate, not having any experience in the field prior, I felt very accomplished that I was able to make six figures. And just showing that experience, I then heard a lot of other people say, oh, how did you do it? How did you do it? How can I do it? And again, I went to YouTube and started to film my experience saying, this is how I did this, this is what I've done, and kind of these are the tactics that I tried. And I was able to keep consistent with that. The following year, I was able to, to double my income. And again, it's all about putting yourself out there, being uncomfortable, being comfortable with, with being uncomfortable and trying new things and, and reaching new heights and things like that. And one of the things that I didn't just focus on was the transactions, but I focused on the experience and the industry as well. Because coming into the industry, I could see that there wasn't so much mentorship. Um, coach, there's a lot of coaching, but there wasn't so much mentorship available from a new agent perspective, and so that was a gap that I wanted to fill. And so from finishing the courses myself and then going into tutoring other people to help them get their real estate license, and then even helping other agents to start off their business, I didn't know it all, I still don't know it all, but my whole thing is, well, you know what, I went through this already, so I'll share with you what worked for me, and then hopefully it will be able to work for you as well. And so even till now, um, I've only been in the industry for four years, but I've now been able to, again, I've done had struggles that not a lot of people have had, but I've had successes not a lot of people have had as well. And so I'm now walking into a role of being a team lead for a uh, real estate franchise. And so my whole premise is that, again, one, you don't have to know it all, you don't have to experience it all, but it's all about putting yourself out there. And although doing transactions, like Chris said, you get that high and it's something you enjoy, but one of my passions as well is just helping people and being able to see people when they're struggling and just opening up their eyes because oftentimes your mindset is the most important thing for you achieving success. If you have an open mind and you have a positive frame of thought, that alone can help you help turn your day right around. So in establishing my YouTube channel and sharing the tactics and ideas, um, I found that a, um, one main thing that has helped my real estate business to grow so rapidly is the networking. So some of the things I made very apparent in the beginning is every week I met with at least three industry, new industry professionals. And some of the tactics that specifically helped was I met with so many people outside of my typical region. So being in the Hamilton and surrounding areas, I was networking with a lot of agents in the GTA, in Toronto, in London, in Kitchener, in Waterloo. And I found that when I basically made those connections, we would collaborate and share ideas. And then all of a sudden, I was the go-to. I was saying, hey, Tori, I have a client actually looking in Hamilton. Um, did you want to collaborate on that? Or I met with a lot of mortgage brokers. And that especially helped to boost my business. Because getting a referral from a mortgage broker, like who doesn't want that? Someone who's already pre-qualified and you know is in good hands. So now for you to collaborate and, and be able to to bring that satisfaction to another industry professional as well as to a client. And then as the things change in the industry, everybody's talking about AI now. So AI is, is a big factor that has changed my career recently. I know starting off, it was all about, okay, I need a seller's guide, I need a buyer's guide. Um, how do I reach out to this client? What do I say? Now with the capabilities of AI, we can have so many things done literally in a few seconds. And what I tell everybody, AI is fantastic, but it doesn't replace you. AI will get you what would have taken you hours, days, weeks, it'll do for you in seconds, but it gets you 90% of the way. So anything you get from AI, you still want to work through and add your personality and add your flair. So recently I completed um, a training for, I'm gonna wrap it up. I recently completed a training to become a certified AI real estate agent. 
and there's only one company in the world that does that right now. So again, seeing these new things in the industry and taking a chance and saying, you know what, this is a capability that I want to learn to know how to build systems and build business and grow my business. I've now been able to look at this technology and see how that can benefit my business and my clients. And with AI, I'll just touch on ChatGPT quickly. A lot of people think, oh, you just type in and type in what you want, but not a lot of people understand you need to train it. So there's different capabilities and tactics when you go into ChatGPT. You have to go into the settings and then your profile, and you actually have a spot where you can write your bio. So in there, I write that I'm an AI certified agent, that I'm a team lead, that I'm focusing on the Hamilton market, and now all the content that I ask it automatically plugs in that information for me. So it makes things so much more relevant. So I'm going to end things there. Thank you for listening to what I had to say. And <laughs>